You know, police officers and like firemen and military, these people when they train, they don't go actually into a burning building and train. They first go to like these training facilities and they do mock exercises and they get ready for the real thing and they go to shooting ranges and, ranges and they shoot, they practice before they hit the real thing, right? Before the real enemy strikes. It's kind of like that with Ramadan. 30 days Allah put shaitan away, right? And He allowed us to train ourselves to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And now that your training is done, you're not, not always going to be inside the training campus. The police officer is going to have to deal with the real dangers outside. The fireman is going to have to fight the real fire. Just like that, we're going to have to fight the real enemy, the shaitan, and his command over our nafs. We're going to have to engage in that real battle once that training is over. That's when we're going to need to learn to guard ourselves, protect ourselves, make our hearts these strong forts that shaitan cannot enter into. So that's, you know, it's the spirit of لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ You've been given this institution of fasting so that you may be able to protect yourselves. May Allah Azza wa make all of us people that are able to protect themselves in and beyond Ramadan. And may Allah Azza wa make the training of Ramadan something that lasts in us and we, we are able to take the spirit of it and drive that in the rest of our lives. Barakallahu li wa lakum and assalamu alaykum ta'ala.